Hey, I'm Eva, I'm here at Blair Studios. Welcome to my studio session. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own version of this watercolor painting. So now I'm gonna introduce you some of the techniques I use for this painting over here. Um, so this is the pregnant female figure, this is titled Round Beauty, and I use some specific techniques in order to create this monochromatic painting. So in order to demonstrate you, to demonstrate the techniques to you, I'm just going to use um, Golden Ochre, this is one of my favourite colours. Uh, it's very rich, very warm, uh, and you can see the different qualities of the paint on the, on the piece of paper. Uh, for this I'm using a watercolour uh, paper which is textured and it's quite thick, it's 300 GSM and uh, it's perfect for what I need. So at this point I'm gonna activate my my colour, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just going to add water on my paint and bring it here on my lid so I can work with my colour. So one of the techniques that I use is uh, called um, wet on wet. So what I'm gonna do is basically I'm just going to add water onto my paper, just water, nothing else. I'm just going to use this area here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring some of the colour into this area. So what I'm going to do is just add water here. So you can see how the colour is blended into this area. So the water, water does all the work for us. We just add, water, we just add the colour. So um, you can wait for it to kind of blend and then add a little bit more of the top um, and gradually it will change while the paint and the water dries on the paper. The other technique is just, uh, I'm just gonna add paint on my paper. My paper is quite dry and you see I have very hard edges here, which is, absolute, which is absolutely fine. And then in order to create a lighter value on the same color, on the same paint, I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush into the water and then um, go around my edges here. I'm just gonna add water to, see, uh, water to the edges and you'll see how the color blends and gradually create a lighter value of the same color. Just adding water again and again And you can see how the transition goes from really dark to kind of very light, almost transparent. Um, the other thing that is really useful for this painting is how to, if we have a lot of color and paint on our paper and we don't need that much, we just need to scoop out some of the color. So uh, let's say that I have a, an area here. Let me just bring some of the color. I have this area here and it's very dark, it's very thick colour, which is okay for some times, but what if I want to, for example, take some of this colour out? So it's really important, if your paper is still wet, like this one here, it's really wet, I just painted it, I'm just going to clean my brush really nicely, tamp it on a cloth and I'm just going to go on the paper and just going to scoop out some of the colour. Um, and you can see how easy this is. Again, I'm going to give a nice clean bath to my brush and then come back into this area and push some of the water away. Um, depending, on the, depending on the quality that you want to show, you can decide how much of, of this you want to leave or how hard your edges want to be or not. So. The other thing that I think is really important as well, for example, sometimes we want really hard outlines uh, for our painting. For example, for example, here on, on this area, um, it's just really distinct where the form is here, where the background is, it's absolutely fine. But for example, when we go inside this area and, uh, or this one, and you can see how we can't really distinguish where, one color, where the lighter value is, where the darker value is, it's just, very blended together, we have a more smooth effect. How can we do that? So uh, I'm just gonna add water, uh, not water, color here. And we have this nice area, this nice blob of color, okay? 
So now I'm just gonna give to my breast a nice clean bath and I'm gonna come back to it and I'm gonna go just with water, I'm just gonna go around the edges and I'm gonna smoothen it down. That way, again, the water does all the job for us. And I might add a little bit more, so that way you have a smoother texture. Thanks for joining me today at my studio session. If you want to check out more of my work, go to blairart.com.